some uh, uh, blackberry um, drink. Either way, that's not important. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a brand new video. As you may notice, I am back home. I'm back in Sweden at the moment. I'm back in my apartment and I'm very happy. I'm also very tired, okay? I'm very tired. The plane trip here was um, was kind of exhaustive uh, and also the constant walking for a whole week was uh, very exhaustive um, due to the fact that um, it was very hot. Hot and uh, yeah, I'm not used to it, so kind of interesting. By the way, ladies and gentlemen, I'm back from Italy, which means we're back to making content. We're back to talking about the latest information and stuff. And I thought today I'd cover a rumor here that popped up. I covered this rumor first in this video, and later today you might have a second video, uh, maybe, but you will have 100% guaranteed you will be getting from me a live stream. I'll be live streaming later today for you guys to bring you some, like, uh, you know, just a little bit of a stream talking about what I've done. Also, back there you can see actually, wait, wait, over here, right here. I think right here, here you can see I've actually got some figurines I bought specifically for the channel so I can open them on stream and also so I can just show them off like in the in like the back here and these things so they can be part of setup so I'll be having those but uh, yeah in simple terms we've got a lot of things happening today ladies and gentlemen a lot of uh, a, lot, a lot of things okay a, a lot of a lot of things but before we get into any of that sort of stuff guys please drop a like down below let's get to a thousand likes for the return of uh, me being back in this country uh, where I can make uh, the videos to you guys enjoy. By the way, let's get right into the actual rumor, kicking off right away. So this is the rumor that popped up that people wanted me to cover. It popped up last night, I think. Um, actually, two days ago specifically, but I, I think I only got sent it yesterday. Um, it's a pretty hefty rumor, by the way. Also, this mustachio is going down. Uh, now, it starts off saying leak regarding Sword and Shield. Now, it starts off also by saying how many you put one there will be and all that sort of stuff, as you may notice. But I just want to point out one thing when it comes to these sort of rumors. Whenever they get like, an, a, like a bunch of numbers, I, I have a harder time trusting them. But who really knows, right? You never really know with these sort of things. So let's just see what else they have to offer us here. So 98 new Pokemon, uh, which seems like a pretty reasonable number in my opinion. I think 98 new Pokemon is a good number. I, mean, I don't know about you guys, but I think it sounds, sounds to me like um, a pretty good number, honestly. Uh, it sounds pretty reasonable. Now... Next thing, uh, 24 new Galarian forms. Now, when it says Galarian forms, does he include Galarian evolutions as well, or just Galarian forms? Like, you know, like how we have Zigzagoon, and we have uh, Noon, and we have, like, you know, Weezing. Like, those are three. But if you include Obstagoon, which is the evolution, that would be four. But I wouldn't include that one because it isn't really a Galarian form. It's Galarian evolution, which is a little bit different. So, I don't know, like, you know, what he's implying to there, like, um how that would work if it's just the glorian forms then 24 sounds like a good number uh does actually sound really really good i'm actually personally pretty happy with that if that is true so honestly that one would be pretty okay in my opinion uh also just gonna lower the uh, music a little bit here so it isn't too loud uh next thing 15 G gigantamax forms okay now this seems like a little bit low, uh, but then again, if we do have, you know, if we have new Pokemon, we have, you know, Galarian forms, Galarian Illusions, and then Gigantamax forms, and then all Dynamax Pokemon, it seems like a a reasonable number, I will say. 16 seems like a reasonable number, this seems like it's too off, too too low, too high, it's just like, eh, okay, reasonable, I, I will say. Uh, next thing, Grookey's final evolution is Grass Rock, so... Okay, now, Grookey's evolution is one that's been a contested one because, like, people keep saying it's going to either be uh, Grass Ground or Grass Rock. Some people said, like, Grass Dark, mm, which I don't think is likely. I think the most likely stuff here is a Grass Rock type. Um, and if not a Grass Rock type, then a Grass Ground type. Uh, but potentially, if you think about it, wouldn't just the normal Grass typing be enough? Because um, there's been a lot of, like, rumors saying it's going to be, like, a, a drummer monkey, like, he's going to be drumming, and it's going to be doing that sort of stuff. So if that is true... If that aspect of those rumors is true, then that would be like it would be a little strange for it to have like a rock typing. A ground typing, I guess, would be a little bit reasonable, but a, you know, a dark typing would be the best for like a drummer monkey, I guess. Um, so I don't know. I don't know what you guys think about that. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit torn about it. So let's continue, that, shall we? So Tobles is water poison, which huh, that actually would make sense because if it's if it's gonna be like an in, in, like a like a spy. Uh, water type, right? Because we already know that because they've, they, you know, we've been told it's going to be called Inteleon by the uh, Ben Affleck leak. Um, so the Affleck leak told us it's going to be called Inteleon, it's evolution or whatever, uh, which means like it is like, you know, it's intelligence and chameleon mixed together, like Inteleon, right? Intelligence, chameleon, uh, you know, intelligence and chameleon. And he also described it, that it's going to look like, um, like, a, like a spy or like, you know, like, um, yeah, like a spy, basically, and I think poison makes sense for a spy, because spies may need to use poison all the times, you know, in their work, so, yeah, I mean, that actually seems pretty reasonable, and next thing, well, next one, of course, is Skull Bunny, is firefighting, 
Which again, seems reasonable, uh, does seem like pretty straightforward, though I do think the Ben Affleck least said like f pure fire something something fighting something, I don't know, it's it's like hard to tell because there was a lot of like grammatical errors in that uh, like leak, uh, so I don't know. Now, there's an electrical robot, uh, Botix, which is, uh, sounds like an interesting name, a dolphin called the uh, Orbafin, and a squirrel, Squavet, we already know about, a little knight called Claudette, and a new deer car fa uh, called fa Fancy, Fancy, okay, Fancy, Nosh, and several others. Impid evolves into a gargoyle called a uh, dargoyle. Dargoyle, really? Dargoyle? Okay. Uh, Yamper evolves into a greyhound called Barkolt, which I guess would make sense because that would be like a you know, bark and volt, or you know, uh, you know, bolt rather, bark and bolt, I guess, or volt, uh, whatever, whichever word you want to use. Uh, my point is that they're mixing you know words together there, which is pretty straightforward. And dargoyle <laughs> seems like an okay name. Though I'm not really sure, but I mean, you guys can always let me know in the comment section now about what your thoughts are on that if you think it seems like a reasonable name. Because I don't really know, man. I don't, I don't say, man. I don't know. Either way, next thing Galarian forms for Jinx, Farfetch'd, Arbok, Houndor, Houndoom, uh, uh, Pineco, and Fortress, uh, Cacnea, Caxon, Gl uh, wait, Gl Glamau, Krugly, Carnivine, and few others. Farfetch'd, Fortress, and Carn uh, Carnivine get evolutions. Ooh, that is a spicy combination. Hmm. That's actually pretty interesting. So Farfetch'd makes sense. Fortress would be cool to see what it would turn into. And Carnivine, I don't know. I've never really thought about Carnivine in that sense. So I don't know, man. This could be a really interesting, like, you know, turn of events. Honestly, think about it. This could be a really cool turn of events if they do this. So honestly, I mean, hey, they can really put, put something up, pull off something off here. Now, Gigantamax forms for all counter starters. Pikachu, Meowth, Lapras, Machamp, and Empoleon. But why would you do only Empoleon? I feel like I've seen this in another rumor where they say Empoleon as well, but it's like, why Empoleon though? Like, why, why just Empoleon? Why not like, you know, um, I was gonna say Chimchar, but I'm stupid. I mean, like, why not like uh, Infernape, right? Why not that? Or, um, or Torterra, like, you know, why aren't they included? Seems a little bit strange. Uh, the rest are for new Pokemon. One is for bot uh, Botix, another one was for an armored horse called uh, Kane, okay. Um, now, next thing is that Duraldon isn't the pseudo legendary, or pseudo legendary in this game. It's a Pokemon named uh, Regalius, Re 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 Regulus, a fairy dragon type. All right. The legendaries are the legendaries are Steel Fighting, Steel Fire, and turns is a dragon, uh, Dark Dragon. As form change that makes Steel makes the Steel Dragon. Ooh, okay. Hmm. That's interesting. That actually would be really cool. If that is true. Now, next one is that Metu Dynasty Pokemon into in into the hill. It's exclusive to Max Raid uh, raids in the post game. And we heard it, the concept of Mediana being the Pokemon on the hill from a few other rumors, but no, 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 none of them mentioned specifically that it's only going to be available in match raids and post game, which would be fun if it is true. Uh, the remaining gym leaders are Fire, uh, Fire, Poison Fairy, Ice Dark, Electric, and Dragon. If this is true, I love that because I, I do like the the split gyms. I know a lot of people don't like them, but I, I personally do like them. I think they're pretty cool. Uh, reason why I think they're cool is because the, it's just like. It gives you a reason to own and play both games, right? Because a lot of people will buy both games. And I feel like, you know, it, it makes sense then to actually have a difference between them. And if you play, if you know, if like a younger player plays it, right? If like you're a kid, like back in the, when I was a kid and played it, right? If I told my friend about my, my playthrough, right? I would only really tell him about the different Pokemon I caught compared to him uh, and a few minor differences. But if we have like, you know, nowadays I was a kid and I played like, you know, Sword and my friend played Pokemon Shield, I'd be able to tell him like, oh, dude, you know, I went to the third gym. It was just like, you know, a girl trainer and she was really strong and I, you know, defeated her. She had fighting types and he'd be like, oh, but in my game, I, I beat, you know, I beat a, a random like ghost, uh, ghost trainer and she was really scary and she had a bunch of ghost types and it was really cool. And I'd be like, you know, that, that actually like, it makes it a little bit of a nice thing right because you have a little bit of a different experience than just having an ad identical one um which i think is nice uh though it would be f more fun if they just had more gyms like instead of eight gyms like 16 gyms i get that you know they could probably do like have, spend the extra time like let's say we if we have like you know poison fairy ice dark and like you know and the already existing like uh fighting and uh, you know ghost type that's like six gyms right there and then if we you know if we look at those sh gyms plus like the remaining three here and the two we already know about that's 11 gyms you could have made 11 gyms or maybe made it an, an extra one you could have had 12 gyms for us to take on instead of eight so in logical sense yeah I, I see both sides of the aisle right like one side's like we don't want that the other side's like you know we don't we don't we don't want it to be like that we'd rather have more gyms across the board uh, while the other side's like it's cool because it gives exclusive things right you know to to each version so it makes it more reasonable to bible versions or for you to compare your uh, journey to your friends um 
So I don't know, but now let's continue though. Uh, like I mentioned earlier with Meteor Dina, Max Raid Bells have, exclusive, have some exclusive Pokemon. I finished the game and was told by an NPC to check them out uh, for Pokemon I can't find anywhere else. Really? You finished the game? Okay. Not sure who else uh, else yet. Now, the post game consists of entering the city behind the Champion's Cup at the top of the map. It's called the Urban Area and will let you challenge different trainers, including familiar ones. It also has quests you can take on. Now, I love quests, and I'd love if there was some in this game. That would be awesome. Now, Kalos won't be in the game, but there will be hints of it by NPCs at the train station. Someone says, I hear that our train lines are getting connected to Kalos. I can't wait to go there with my Pokemon. Might mean uh, nothing like uh, Oras Battle Frontier, you know, a little hint thing, uh, which is true. You know, that never really led to anything at all. It was just kind of like a an off thing that was just kind of there, and we never, they never really did anything with that either, so it, possibly if this is true, this will be the same with the situation, right? It's not going to go anywhere, which is sad. Now, TBL follows Marnie because she's a runaway princess of the Galar region. The queen, her mother, asked them to keep an eye on her in uh, in a way that would not alert uh, the, region's, <laughs> the region's civilians. Marnie told them that uh, until she beats the gym challenge, she isn't going back. They decided to support her until then. Uh, her number one fan is an, under, oh, an unrevealed character and her personal uh, retainer, All right, Cedric. He will battle you in attempts to convince you to drop out of the challenge to make way for Marnie so she returns home sooner. Okay, now BD is an ambitious yet greedy trainer that manipulates people around him, including Chairman Rose, who didn't actually want to endorse him. Raised by a rich family who, uh, with no worries, he lacks compassion and doesn't care for those who strive to meet their goals. He wants to conquer the gym challenges and a Champions Cup to show that the system is too easy despite how hard people work. In attempts to demoralize effort. Now, Oliana is Magnolia's daughter and the mother of Sonia. She is the villain of the game. She has a, uh, a collect weight. She has been collecting energy emitted from Dynamaxing to power a device in her base meant to capture um, and control Eternatus. She wants to Dynamax it for the purpose of consuming Oglar in shadow and create a world where dark is the new light. She's not very much like, like uh, Lusamine. A little bit too much like Lusamine, in my opinion, but whatever. Um, Oleana works with Chairman Rose to uh, encourage people into taking on gym challenges and use Dynamax. This is to supply Dynamax energy for her machines. The legendary of your game is used to defeat Eternatus in a different ways. Zacian is slash, will slash through the darkness with his sword and free Galar from it. Zemazenta will shield and protect everyone from the dark as it lights the sky with its protective flames, burning it away. There is no Elite Four. You can take on the Champions Cup, which works like a tournament similar to the anime. Leon is at the end. Uh, Wait, his ace is Charizard, of course, uh, that he Gigantamaxes, but he has a Regalius. And alright, that is uh, fair enough. That is the rumor, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comment section down below your thoughts and opinions. And also, uh, question of the day. What is your favorite Pokemon so far from Pokemon Sword and Shield? Like, the ones we've shown so, show so far. Which is your favorite? This is only for those who watched all the way till the end. What is your favorite? Question of the day. What is your favorite Pokemon from Pokemon Sword and Shield so far? Okay, which one is it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Also, drop a like down below, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if we can hit that thousand likes for the return. And also, I'll be live streaming later today. For you guys to so see you there. Have a great day and bye bye, ladies and gentlemen.